Ever wondered what it would be like to live life as a toon? Well, here's your chance. Jump online and straight into Tool Town, where the city limits are as wide as your imagination. Start by creating your own unique identity and turn yourself into the toon you always wanted to be. Sweet! Now you're ready to leap into a world of Disney magic. Burst into a never-ending adventure across outrageous new lands. Don't just stand around looking. Get into the action! Toon Town is an endless world! Run wild in it! Interact with thousands of other tunes from all over the world. Pick a spot to meet your friends or make a bunch of new ones. Together, you'll discover a whole host of awesome games to play. The more you play, the more you win, and the more gags you get. There's never been a competitive online multiplayer interactive ever-changing Disney-inspired tune-themed game like this before. But it isn't all seltzer and slapstick in Toontown. You've got some corporate robo-bad guys to deal with. These evil cogs want to mess up all the fun. How typical as someone in a suit. Battle the cogs with your full arsenal of gags and take back Toon Town! You'll need courage, creativity, teamwork, and a massive amount of cream pie. How does this game end? It doesn't. The folks at Disney are making it bigger and better every day. You just play more games, meet more tunes, get more gags, explore the world, and it gets crazier and wilder and more! Thanks. I needed that. Toon Town. Are you tuned enough? Hello, everyone. It's me, your boy, Willie Bo Billy, joining me today in his triumphant return from Down Under. Is Ian Gibson? Ian, say hello. Hi, everybody. I'm so sorry we didn't have streams for the last week and a half, but we're back, folks. We are back. It's my favorite joke. <laughs> We it's had a classic, really. <laughs> we had some good streams while you were away. Jake and I played Eve Online. I saw that fun. Go. It went really well. Karen I and saw, I uh, played Mario Party. That one looked like fun. Luigi won. Yeah, that one was fun because it was on the couch and it was, Stream Mom was there and we were just chatting. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. How many and turns then, did you play? Uh, twenty. We only did twenty because I didn't want to kill okay. myself. Um, and then. Mm -hmm. Saturday, we played Day Z, and that game is awful. Um, is it okay? Wait, sorry, I just need to. You talk a lot about Day Z. Did you ever actually enjoy it and think it was good, or did you just play it and enjoy the experience of playing it? Um, when back when it was the Arma 2 mod, uh, my brother and I and our friend, we I have like 65 hours in that mod or in Arma 2 because of that mod, but like we had a lot of fun. Like, it was fun yeah. before they started implement implementing dumb stuff. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. You said two haze. Hope everything's going okay. That reminds me. I'm going to put it in the news section. I have to tell Kyle my tonsillectomy story. Okay. Yes, Kyle's recovering uh, from uh, facial surgery. He's now looks like... Um, actually, Does I don't want to ruin the surprise. Does it count as facial surgery? I mean, it's technically like the inside of your face, right? That's true. Well, where's, um, let me look up the definition for facial. Let me just type that up on the internet. All right, <laughs> uh, do an image search. Sometimes yeah, the yeah. Are I'll do it live. Um, um, sorry, wait. just so just real quick on Day Z. I, I I just want to say that makes perfect sense. I feel like Day Z is one of those is the perfect example of an early access game that is incredible because it has a new premise. And you forgive all the broken wonkiness because you think it's going to be eventually fixed, and it's never fixed or improved upon. Yeah, I the mod was much better than the game that came out. Like I only played the game that came out very, like, I don't know. It was just not. Yeah, I don't know. The I had so much fun with the mod because I think when they sent it to its own engine, it had different problems. 
Um, yeah. I'm still, I, I remember I was on a forum at the time and a lot of people were playing and they had a server and they were like setting up like a dedicated camp and they were kept posting where they're yeah. like, oh, somebody raided us last night. I logged in and I'm still looking for a game that has that same type of survival multiplayer persistent server mechanic that I can get into because I haven't yeah. been able to get into one yet. Um, but before we start, folks, we'll start in just a second. Um, it reminded me I had a stream idea while we were playing, um, which I have to go back and watch to get the full idea. But the gist of it was that we do some sort of weekly series that we play a scenario in like Arma 3 or Arma 2. And we like mm -hmm. each have our own assigned jobs like uh, on like a SEAL team. And we have to stick to our jobs and research how to do our jobs. And then there's like an actual commander who commands us and we have to listen to the commander and like try to get through a mission. I I like that. Let me let me research and, and so each week is each week a different mission or is each week the same mission and we just try and beat it? It depends on what we find because there's a mod with servers that are like it's literally puts you into a country where there's insurgents and rebels and you're like a squad. Or yeah. we could download specific missions and keep trying to do it over and over again. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's let's talk about the first. Let's yeah. kick this off. Let's kick let's this off. Have you start playing the game so then we can ignore you playing the game. Yes, exactly. Server Quest, episode 14. We're playing some Toontown. This is Captain Pepper Bumpendorf. I made him to just test the game. And it was a little janky, so we'll kind of see how this goes. Um... I don't think there's enough distinction between boy and girl. Except the boy has a good gap between his legs. Well, that's that's where it goes. That's where yeah, that's where the that's where the goes for the boy. Uh, I'm gonna you know I'll be a girl. Uh, actually, I can't can't stand girls. Um. So yes, Toontown Online, 2003, June second. Um, the first family-oriented massive multiplayer online game. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if it really counts as an RPG. Uh, oh, man. Look at this horse boy. Nay. Mouse boy. Oh, it's Mickey. Oh, I was about Monkey to say, boy. how can they have Mickey in this game? But I forgot that it's Disney. <sighs> yes, it is Disney. Disney's oh, my goodness. Should, I, should I be a pig or a monkey? Or... Should I play the magic shuffle button? Is that a trick button? question? Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, there's not a whole lot of variety. Oh, oh, oh! oh that's it. That's it. Right <laughs> that's there. That's a big. That's Hi. a big boy. Ooh, let's see that booty. Mm. Back that up. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. That's a dump truck. I love seeing every Tuesday morning. Toon color. Should I be disgusting human skin color? <laughs> <laughs> yes you look like you look like i don't even want to say like an uncooked hot dog because even uncooked hot dogs aren't that nasty looking yeah that was gross Ugh, i'm gonna eat a Reese's like peanut butter cup so do you oh, want one sounds yes please there you go thank you um, i'm gonna be blue <gasps> stream mom oh, i can Hi, change stream mom. <gasps> stream mom i'm so glad you're here because i discovered something that i did and i forgot about it today and mm -hmm. i don't know if you know this stream mom but you are in every single episode of server quest because you wow. are you are in the title sequence and so is ian and i don't know if anyone's ever noticed it before but that's all i'm gonna say i don't i don't know if the title sequence plays in resolution high enough to see it on uh on it. the recordings but uh I'm glad your internet's finally working, and I'm glad I remembered that today. It also reminded me, like, I half, I half asked the uh, references. Whoa, language! Sorry, I half uh, aside the uh, references, and I need to go and make them better. Hey, um, that reminds me. I just want to call you out on stream. You are the worst at clickbait titles. I'm great at clickbait titles. What are you talking about? You should have called this Disney's MMO for kids, but instead you called it NC17 MMORPG. 
Yeah, it's great. Then people see it and go, they're playing an NC-17 MMORPG? You think this is Rihanna Rouge MMO? Oh, I'd play it. I know, it was a joke because it's a family-friendly oriented. I know, I just, I, I just want to bust your chops a bit. Well, stop busting my chops and start busting everything else. Uh, oh. Type of name, Keldor. Okay, all right. So I'm looking at a replay right now. Let me bump it up to the 1080s. No tomfoolery. Oh, they have to check my are name we, and it'll be a couple days. No are we way. in the opening crawl? Uh, yeah. You guys are in the intro. Yeah, the little intro sequence. I mean the opening crawl of text. Uh, yeah, sure. Because gonna... I see it. It's enough resolution to read it, but it's also not. Ooh, Master Pinky. Oh, this is so good. Skinny Wacky Bumber Muffin. Is that pretty good? <laughs> Those are good names. Captain oh Bruce. <gasps> oh, I do like that you can't you can't just input your own name. You can, but it has to be approved by the council. Who's the council? I have no Grumpy Bonkers Tweedle Mash. Noisy Cranky. Silly Pi Oh, <gasps> Silly Pickles was good. Can I do Silly oh, Pickles Chili Squiggle Pickles. Doodles? Really? Yeah, that's a good one. I love this. This is pretty good. Did you ever play Toontown online? God, no. So I was going to say, um, it's funny that I, I was the one that found this game. Because it was on the Wikipedia article and I added it to our list of potentials. Because it looked bonkers. Um, and then it's funny that that you're the one that ended up having to play it while I'm not. Well, yeah, I I, I, I remember the commercials for this game very vividly. Um, mm -hmm. uh, no, skip. I did the tutorial the other day. Um, it was funny because I when I went to add it, you had added it, and I was like, oh, that's a weird game for Ian to, to know that existed. Um, yeah. I always thought that was funny. Uh, you found and rode the trolley. Now report back to Toon headquarters. Oh, this is... Oh. oh, this is... The best one we've seen. This is like far. World of War... Can you believe this came out before World of Warcraft? This game looks so good. There's the pet shop. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I'm fishing! Click and drag down from the cast button. The further down you drag, the stronger your cast will be. Um, I just want to say, since I skipped it, and we usually do it in most games, uh, the tutorial for this game, uh, at, at least for uh, teaching you how to play, is actually not half bad. Mm -hmm. um, I was kind of okay with it. I don't have any jelly beans for bait. You need to, you gotta bait them with the jelly beans. Okay, I gotta go to headquarters. So it's been a while. Um, let's just get it over with. I was in Florida. Florida's nice. Turns out about 5% of people wear masks down there, which Good is bad. Them. But it makes sense why their numbers... When I was there, their numbers spiked to the extent that they had like three to 4,000 new positive cases of COVID each night. It was bonkers. Yeah. Um, but it was nice. Spent some time with the family. I actually built... Uh, you ever seen one of those workbenches where it folds down from the wall and then it rolls away? You know what I'm talking about? Rolls down from the wall and rolls away? Yeah, it's basically a rolling workbench that you can push against the wall, lift against the wall, fold the legs down, and it folds to like six inches flat, hanging Ooh. on the wall. It was pretty big. I think the one I did was like 80 by... 37 or 40 inches so i built him one of that because i have a new house so nice just kind of helping him out with projects went to the beach went to the pool how was the beach the in the pool nephew. beach was great pool was great just a nice little uh all right come back here to self pay well vacation stream mom says he's played toontown wow stream mom um i'm supposed to does it say my quests anywhere? Whoa, look at this. Toon wow. Tasks. This Black is Blackboard uh... Eraser from the Cogs in Toontown Central. Oh, I don't have any friends online, guys. So I want to see 
The developer of this was Disney's Virtual Reality Studio. That's what it was called. It has since been called Disney Interactive. The keyboard is being weird. I'm going to look him up on, uh, what's it called, Moby Games? Moby. Oh, hey, Karen. Hey, when you get a second, can you get my boxes from my bedside table? I want to show off. Some, I, I know Ian's seen these, but I, I wanted to show these off on a stream that people watch. No, you're not on camera. You were. You, no, I cut you out of the camera. I gotta kill this guy. Excuse me. This studio has made a lot of games. They made. Guess I'm how many games they've made in the entirety of their existence. How long was their existence? Since 1994. Um, eight. You think this studio has made eight games since 1994? Fine. Nine. Try 344. 344? That's crazy. Yeah. It's a big studio. They have a lot of like... Thank you. Split what? second, split second master unlock, split second track and mode unlock. Well, I guess this includes oh, DLC. Uh, but it's still, you. it's still a lot of stuff. The most recent, well, the first game was Disney's animated storybook, The Lion King. I feel Ooh. like I've played more than a handful of these games before. Uh, um, stream, I'm going to answer your question. This is Toontown rewritten. I believe it is a separate... It's not the I mean it's the original game but it's not Disney running it anymore. Yeah. They uh I'm they did die. Star Wars Jedi Starfighter Bounty Hunter Racer nice. Revenge. Ooh. Wait, did they also do oh, No, sorry. They did the recent ones. I, I have to run. I'm going to die. Um okay, while I have a second, I um during my infinite wisdom and hobbies, I made um Let's not push it. Some things uh I'll start off with this one. I made miniature versions of the PC boxes of uh, games that I like. You know how PC games used to come in big boxes? Well, I made little boxes. Um, That's cute. This how did you do that? Did you have it printed on cardstock? This one's arena. Yeah, it's 80 pound paper. Here, I'll move this so you can see it, Ian. That's uh, heavy. Yeah, it's very heavy. My printer can barely handle it. Um, so this one is from a website called 3dbigboxcollection.com. Uh, mm -hmm. I like their website, but the only problem is they don't have the top or bottom of the box. Oh. And I think that's stupid. So in Photoshop, they don't... Plus the guy is German, so most of them are in German. Um, so in Photoshop, I just decided off. to make my own using Mobi. Uh -huh. uh, so these have the top and bottom... Uh, but the problem with Moby is they don't have scans, like the English one doesn't have scans of all four sides. So the two sides on this one are actually the German version, but oh, the only wow. thing in German is the PC specs. <laughs> gotcha. And then, uh, I'm, cool. I made a Dragon Lore one as well. Cool. Uh, that game was terrible. Anyways, I just want to show them off. Because uh, that's kind of what I want to. Uh, yes, stream on this game is free. Talking about Toontown rewritten. Yes, I you should totally go. I don't think it's changed at all. I, think I, it's I just, believe it's uh, exactly the same. Um, how do I get more health? That I don't remember. Do so that you need to walk through. I don't think so. The problem I have with this game is I don't. Like, I guess, I think it's too, I, I can't even say Bad. that. I think, no, I like, I think kids would have a great time with this. Oh, shut up, you jerk. Like, you it's not, uh, no, I do have a quest. I was trying to see how to heal myself. All right, I'm just going to die. Oh, stream um, on me, join you. <gasps> stream on me, you should totally log on. That would be funny. Um, oh, I went to the wrong place. That's why. So the other thing is this studio also made... It's It's got to be a huge studio. They, they, they ported a lot of the Star Wars games. 
to PS4, etc., and Xbox in like after the uh, Disney acquire uh, acquisition of Star Wars. Um, they also recently did uh, Disney Infinity. This is the Disney Infinity Studio. Oh, I think this is just like a giant studio that just all of it falls under that studio, like the Nintendo one. Just different teams. Well, but yeah, yeah, I think I think pretty much that's probably what it is. Um. So what other than Toontown? What have you been playing since I last? Uh, oh, saw you? oh, weird biscuit wrink wrinkle goose wants to be my friend. I don't know if that's stream mom or just this guy who walked past me. Hi. Um, Ian, you'd very much like to know what game I have been playing since I've last spoken to you. <gasps> that's right. I saw the tweets. <laughs> Was I, I right? Was I right? It's, it's one of the best games ever made. It is. Uh, I have like probably like two or three complaints with it. But other than that, it is an incredible game. We are, of course, talking about Yakuza 0. Yakuza oh, okay. Zero? It's Yakuza, right? So I, I'm not sure which one it is, but I, I did find out that in Japanese, they don't really put the emphasis on anything. It's supposed to be flat. So I think that makes it Yakuza. Yakuza. Instead of Yakuza. Um, which also, that game does not help teach you English. Or English. Japanese. No. The translation... Well, bit, but... The translation I, I've been able to tell... I was actually talking with Karen the other night. Is that... I now hear when they don't say it. Like, I think I really, in Japanese, you refer to a person throughout the entire sentence. Like I would keep saying Ian-san instead of you. Yeah. So there's, there's a couple times where they translate it to you. Um, oh, yeah. But you hear them say Kiryu-san or Majima-san because they're just using their names still. Majima. But, Majima. Boy, I'm, I don't know how much longer. Jim, I, kill you. I don't know how much longer I have in that game. I, I hope a lot. I more. think it's only like eleven or twelve chapters or something. Yeah, I'm on chapter ten or eleven, and I uh, I have twenty almost twenty eight hours in the game. Yeah, it sounds about right. Um, but at the current moment, I can't stop running my cabaret club because it's real good. I was. I wasn't. I don't think it was bad. I just wasn't crazy about that mini game. But I think it's there was so much stuff to do that I just didn't stick with that one. I just kept running around doing other stuff. The game is just yeah. It has Karen. I'm curious. Has Karen changed her mind seeing you play? She it? she likes seeing me play it, but she still she doesn't like like big long cutscenes and all that stuff. Yeah, it definitely has. It. But it does a good job of spacing them out, and you know when they're coming. Yeah. My only uh, actually, I don't want to get into criticisms yet. Um, th though I'm enjoying the game a lot, the mini games are good. The story is really good. Um, and oh, the other it. thing the game does that I enjoy is I, I'm forced to pay attention to it. I can't look at my mm -hmm. phone because I have to read the subtitles. Yes. Um, that's good. and I can't, like, I can't do anything else because I will miss I'll miss what's happening. Um, gosh, I, I had something I was going to say about the game, but I get, well, I'll just say the, the one problem I have with it is it's a little unclear. Um, like I know they delineate it, but it's unclear whether they want me to go and do stuff or they want me to do the story. And then sometimes I'll come out of a cutscene and be like, Oh, I want to do random stuff now. And it's one of those, spots where oh. they block off all the streets and you can only run from one place to another yes uh, yeah that is that is a little, little that is a little unclear and and i'm not a huge i think some of the cutscene segments are a bit too long there are definitely moments where it's like 25 30 minutes of cutscene solid and you even though you know yeah. you're coming it's still just kind of a it takes yeah it's almost like quantum break where there's like a tv episode of stuff to watch you know yeah so it that's kind of annoying um but I don't hate it because of that. It's just like I, I have to prioritize. And at this point, I'm just running around to see if I can make uh, side stories start. So I know I'm not missing yes. them. And then I just I hope you can see now how uh, there's two things I want to talk about. Number one, Yakuza 0, I feel like has the greatest side quest in any game I've ever played. I feel like 
almost every single side quest I played in Yakuza 0 was like interesting, different, compelling. Like if it told a story, it told an interesting story. Like it's so good. And then you go to any other game and their side quests are almost horribly boring in comparison. Are you, are you feeling that as well? Yeah, it's... Yeah, they're like... I don't know what... They sort of get... Repetitive's the wrong word. They don't get repetitive, not... but they use... The structure gets repetitive a little bit. Yes, but but I, I have a good example of this. Like, there is a fetch quest in that game, and it's just a fetch quest. You go to somebody and they say, hey, help me out, go fetch this one, right? But what makes it interesting is that it's a homeless guy, and he's like... I need alcohol. He like you need something from him. He's like, I've got your information, but you gotta give me alcohol. And he like gives you a specific brand to go buy, and you have to go to the convenience stores and find the brand that he wants, and then bring yeah. it back to him. And he gives you the information, and then you end up just like drinking the night away with him and his homeless buddies. And it's like it's just a simple fetch quest, but the way that it's presented and the characters that it introduces, and then now every time you run past that park and you see him hanging out with his friends, it adds so much character to that setting. And to that NPC, yeah. Even though it's such a small side quest, I, so I even had, though the mechanic is is cookie cutter, the content is great. Yeah, I had Karen actually write down the brands because that's one of the main quests. Because he's the homeless guy you meet later when you have to live in the park. He lets you sleep with yeah, him. Yeah, that's right. Or that's sleep right, in yeah. his tent, not sleep with him. With him <laughs> in his tent. Yeah, I'm gonna go speed. It's way. so like like going from that to. Like, I love Breath of the Wild, but the side quests in Breath of the Wild are trash. They're just, like, yeah. normal fetch quest type stuff. And and Yakuza 0, seeing how much character it adds to the game without doing crazy mechanics or anything, just incredible. The other point, I hope you'll agree with me now, and if you don't, feel free to, feel free to, to make this a contentious discussion, is that even though Yakuza 0 is a small space, it feels like one of the best open world games because of how much there is to do within that space, how much you end up exploring that space, and how much you come to like learn and love and have memories within that small space. Yeah, I it's it's small it's small and big enough to rec like I'll run past something and be like, "Oh, that's when that happened or that's when that happened." Yeah. Um yeah, I, I'll agree with that. It, it is a very well-crafted piece of, like, area that you live in for so long. Um, yeah, and I think I think I have a spotlight video on this on our channel, basically talking about how that's my personal favorite open-world game, because even though it's not about space, there's no vehicles in the game, and it's a small space, it's about your relationship to the environment and your ability to explore that makes it an open world game which is kind mm -hmm. of shirking the normal open world concept of a it needs to be huge it needs to take you x number of minutes to walk across it you need to have fifteen thousand different modes of transportation and yeah because yeah, zero is just like we don't need any of that we can still make a compelling setting yeah and it does a lot of like i, I this is mostly down to like japanese humor and like Japanese like ways of doing things, but some of that stuff is so funny, and oh, it's just it's so like good. it's so it's wild hilarious. and like crazy, and like I was doing a bunch of the the girl conversations with Kiryu, the telephone ones, and you like yeah. have to hit the button to answer the phone, and he like whips up the phone and like That's screams yeah. like ah, and then he puts the phone to his head and goes mushy mushy, <laughs> and like doesn't he like completely <laughs> normal? He does. He like slams his fist down and hits either the table or one end of the phone, so it like yeah, flips up in the exactly. air, and then he like slap catches it. It's oh, so it's... good. That game is incredible. I I was so pissed hearing all these like game of the year discussions, especially Giant Bomb, and it was not making like the top three or the top five. And it's, I was like, yeah, this game is incredible. It's so good. Oh, I can't I can't recommend that game enough, and I'm so happy that you love it. Yeah, it's but great. It's a time commitment for sure, though. Absolutely. It's Especially, like, like, I didn't fault Karen when she said she tried to play and she quit 30 minutes in. I was like, I don't fault you. It takes two to three hours before it really yeah. gets going and you're hooked into it. And I've been telling her the story along the way and she's very, into, like, she likes what she, she, likes oh, what yeah. she hears. 
Um, yeah, that story with it, by the end of like chapter one, I was hooked into that story. I was like, what, what is, what is Majima gonna do? Like he's in such like a moral pickle. I was like, oh yeah. no, oh. so good. The Just um incredible game. Uh, but my only my other problem with it with it is why isn't everyone's fight set? the Majima Slugger because this is the best one and I just I know, nunchuck right? into people and they <laughs> fall down but that's what yeah. I was going to say the cabaret club is how you up you get the unlock the next tier for yeah and so I want I just want to play it until I can get that because I want the Slugger um, oh, so good. I don't know I what I'm doing just... I'm just running around this game because we're too busy talking about Yakuza but yeah it's that's real good. Do you need um so there is tune training. So I Head I just need to know I'm Did you complete Flippy's mission? So I'm doing blackboard eraser. That's what I'm doing right now. I have to get the blackboard eraser from the cogs and oh, I got to run from this guy. Um okay, I'm trying to find. Out. My only question about Yakuza is why yes. Oh, I just have to defeat Cogs. Okay. Why do... How do I recharge my... Man, I did the tutorial yesterday and I've forgotten everything. Um, Why are some of the cutscenes videos then... Like, I understand why... Oh, I'm... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it lagging? Ugh. Uh... Daddy can't move. The crash? No, I the uh, game's fine. Just my character. Oh, he got stuck like during a door transition? Yeah, this happened to me during the uh, tutorial yesterday. <laughs> uh, okay, let me try logging out and logging back in. Okay, what were you saying about cutscenes? So, uh, I understand there's cutscenes. The, like, pre-rendered cutscenes that look really good. And then it goes, like, if there's a conversation in a sort of story moment, it has voiceover in Japanese with text in English that you don't have to button through. Um, and I get that they don't want to do a full cutscene rendered of people talking for a while. But then mm -hmm. there's also... Uh, then two steps below that, there's random NPCs with Majima or Kiryu who have Zelda noises like, huh? Or yes. And then there's, oh, yeah. and there's uh, a, yeah. what's that called with the ticking noise for typing? Um, oh, I watching I an animal crossing it. video. I, they, I know exactly what you're talking about. Basically yeah. like, like the voiceover, the cutscene, the cinematic style. But then there's cutscene rendered people with boxes of text randomly placed on the screen no lips moving and yep. just them voiced over and just looking at each other so those are the ones i'm wondering why why are they there those yeah. seem like the weird I, I, like why aren't they one or the other yeah i i for a while i thought it was like a tech reason but then i realized it just it just didn't I couldn't understand. It. But so that's that's definitely a downside where it's not consistent. But my other thing is I haven't seen one of those types of scenes since like the first 2 hours. So that's the other reason I'm confused why they even exist because they're yeah. barely in the game. I don't know, maybe they were last minute filler. It's it's hard to say. That's true. Stream Mom says uh people that run Two Town said they have been having issues recently and the server might have died. Oh, okay. We'll see if I can get back in. Otherwise, we can just keep talking about yeah. Because I haven't played in like two days, and I'm like itching to uh, to go back. I think it was either Yakuza. I think it was Yakuza Zero. It was either Yakuza Zero. Yeah, it was Zero, not Kiwami. Where I like, I was itch. There was one day I was itching to play at work, and I got home, and I played for four hours straight, and all that I did was the slot car racing. I oh. spent four hours doing slot car racing because there's even like a little quest line with that with the people there. God, it's so good. I like the slot car um, racing. My, my big complaint, and this is very particular, and I've, I've, 
I've noticed this myself, but not as much to an extent as other people say, is that Yakuza 0 is the best game in the Yakuza series. So It's also the best game to start the Yakuza series. So for me, going from Yakuza 0 to Kiwami, it wasn't quite as good. And then I realized I can't really go to any other Yakuza game. Like, I can't go backwards. I can't play the 2 or 3 remake because they're not going to be as good as 0. Mm -hmm. So the problem is I'm kind of in this waiting space where I'm like, I played 0, I played Kiwami. Kiwami was kind of disappointing. I'm excited for 7 when that comes out, right? Yeah, so when 7 yeah. comes out. But I, I don't want to put time into the other ones because I know they're not going to be as good as Zero. Even though they're going to be good, I want a game that I'm going to sink my teeth into and finish. Yeah. And so it's like, I'm, it's, it's this I'm there weird too. thing where it's like, it's the perfect entry to the series, but it's also too good when compared to the rest of the series, you know? I like, I, I've been playing this and I'm saying to myself like, oh man, I really want to know what's happening. But I, I know that same thing that Yakuza Zero is the best. So I think I might just end up reading kind of what happens after that. Yeah, I've done th I've done that a little bit. Yeah. And then seven, I know, is they switch to the turn-based stuff in seven. Yes, but I also actually, you know, there's I, like a dragon. Is that seven or is that a different game? That's that's seven. seven I, I don't okay. know if it's called Yakuza Seven in the West. Yakuza Seven, like a dragon, or if it's just Yakuza, like a dragon. But that's Yakuza Seven. But I, I'm gonna okay. look up the Yakuza Seven. Famitsu review to see because it's already out. Oh, yeah, I'm in sorry, Japan it's called Yakuza 7 Like a Dragon. And then the only I, I heard Judgment was pretty good, which is a separate, it's by the same studio, but it's a it's not yeah. a Yakuza game. Um, and I do want to try Judgment. I think that would be fun. Um, um, okay, yeah. here we go. Yakuza Like a Dragon Famitsu gave it a 9, 9, 10, 10, which is a 38 out of 40. I'm going to read wow. a couple of these other scores to give you an idea. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, 34 out of 40. Sniper Elite 3, 31 out of 40. Untitled Goose Game, 33 out of 40. So they seem to really like it. So I'm very excited for it. I want to spend my um, silly point. Anyways, let's move on. Have you been playing anything other than Yakuza? Zero? Um, I beat that Dragon Lord game. Why? Um, I don't know. Don't ask. I just did it. Um, it was so bad. Uh, I played some Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance on my very finicky GameCube. Uh, yesterday. That was pretty fun. Um, but as far as games that I'm actually putting time into. Uh, Yakuza is the only one because I don't want to push out of my brain. Like, I know that's not going to happen, but I don't want to push out what's happening with another, like, story-based game. So I'm mm -hmm. I'm currently sitting it. on Disco Elysium and uh, Sunless Seas that I got. Mm -hmm. I got Sunless Seas on, a, on sale for, like, four bucks. And I was like, I've always wanted to play this game. And uh, uh, Disco Elysium I got a while ago, and I had... I started that and Yakuza at the same time, and I was like, "Okay, I gotta, I gotta give one of these games my respect right now." Uh, so, yeah. not really. I'm trying to think. I've been playing Animal Crossing off and on, and then the Fifty One Club games. Karen and I have been doing like the bowling and the dart throwing, which is fun. Um, mm -hmm. The bowling is annoying because it's not Wii bowling, so yeah. I keep, <laughs> I keep messing up. Um. Think, I want to say that's I, I think I'm forgetting something, but that's about it. Um, yeah, I, well, you've been playing anything? I know you've been traveling, so. Um, I played a little bit of uh, 51 games. I I think I'm done with the game. It's it's kind of a shame. It really needed a lot more challenges because I mastered the games I loved. I beat most of the uh, I beat about half the challenges across all the games, and it came in handy on the road trip for about a two hour segment where. We were listening to a podcast i wasn't driving so i was just playing some mahjong um but i don't know i thought that game would have a longer half-life for me but it just didn't still enjoyed it I don't um i um oh you know before i forget just a question it needs to be asked 
Are you playing Last of Us Part Two currently? Uh, no, I I will eventually. I just mm -hmm. a I didn't want to drop sixty dollars on it, and b I, I don't f really feel like playing it right now. That's understood. Yeah, like, I, and I've so heard I'm, I'm not gonna play it either. But I yeah. figured we should at least say, hey, we're I'm we're aware not playing that right now. I like I, I I've heard both sides of like. Hey, this is the best game I've ever played versus this is the worst game and it offends people and murder and their story. Like, I want to play that game because yep. I think it looks good and I'm a sucker for, um, like, life after people where, like, overgrown buildings and cool stuff. Like, I want to check that out yeah. and I want to play the game. I'm not... I don't want to play it because I think it's going to give me the best message for my life or something. Like, I don't go to video games for that. Like, I come away with from some video games with that, but... I don't go to video games for that. Um, so I will eventually play it. Uh, I'm saving my pennies for uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Shush oh, that should be um, good. Which I'm, I'm hoping that. Yakuza brings me to. Um, if I can time it out. Although, I, I don't care if it doesn't, but I'm thinking it might. Well, uh, just a quick update here. Um... I need to double check this, but apparently my car has an AC power outlet. Oh no. Um, so, um, that's not good. Yeah. And, and I, I'm just not a big fan of modern naughty dog games. And to explain that you can go to subpixelfilms.com and watch my recent uh, uh, video called the problem funny. with naughty dog. Um, so I'm just not that crazy about it. So I've been playing that. I, my uh, nephew, he's in first grade and first or second grade, I think first grade. And he's been really into Minecraft. So I was playing some Minecraft with him, kind of like, you know, one computer, two people. And I may actually, I'm thinking about, he's not really big into the survival because he's still kind of learning the game. So I think I may host a creative server for him, myself and my father. And I'm thinking about, you know, inviting you as well. Just a nice chill creative so build whatever you want server i think that'd be fun I, it'll be free i'll just host it off my machine uh i'm in desperate search of a uh stream right. on we'll get to that Do in it. a second i'm in desperate search of a game to uh, like a podcast game because i've i ha i don't have anything right now and minecraft sounds kind of oh good yeah to go back to i'd say even just a racing game something like Wreckfest, where you're just like playing online racing with podcasts yeah, going that's, that's good idea. stuff too Maybe I'll um, do Forza Horizon 4 again. I also got back into Gunpla today just because I had my Rick Diaz that I need to finish, and I finished it today. I just had some vinyl detail. Actually, that's not true. I have to do some weathering on it. Um, I also, <laughs> funny enough, I think I ordered two Gunpla the last time we did our Gunpla stream, and they have not arrived yet. I'm pretty sure they're stuck somewhere internationally, nice. which is just kind of funny. But I do have some gunpla if we wanted to do another gunplay stream. That's not a promise. That's just a statement. Um, it costs a minimum and... of 100 jelly beans to plan a party. Oh, you know what we did play? My cousin, my nephew and I, we played um, Scrap Mechanic. Have you heard of that game? No. So Scrap Mechanic always looked like this weird Minecraft knockoff. But... He, he bought it and he was playing it a little bit and it's actually like, let me describe to you how to make a, a car. So to make a car you have to put a driver's seat and an engine and you build a platform, you put the driver's seat on, you put an engine on. And then you put bearings on the bottom of the platform that the suspension sticks onto and the bearings are attached to the driver's seat so they're the steering. And then the bearings go on the bottom of the suspension facing outwards that the wheels go onto it. And those connect to the engine. And then you can dial in your suspension and you can dial in your engine power. It's crazy. It's like you're building your own vehicles and it gives you so many options. And it's actually like, like to get him to, I had to build him a door where you press the button on the inside or outside of the building to open the door and close it. And in order to do that, I had to use a logic gate, a, like a logic gate piece. So it actually looks pretty cool. That may be something we have to look at in the future because it's uh, it looks like it's a good mix between brick rigs. If you remember brick rigs, the Lego yeah. knockoff game. Oh, that game was good. And and space engineers. Like it's not as complicated or as uh, obtuse as space engineers, but it's not as simplistic as brick rigs because you still have to actually like build the vehicle and like 
do the suspension yeah. and, the, and the, the power and all that. So it, it uh, we may have to dump into that in the future. That looked pretty interesting. I was getting some ideas. I sent you some ideas for future stuff we could do just because he was watching a lot of YouTube videos of what? people playing stuff. And normally I don't watch any of that Let's Play crap. I mean, let's be honest. Even our st Let's Plays aren't good. Our Let's Plays are um, good. And there were people playing some games like Scrap Mechanic and Stormworks that look like could be some fun stuff for us to try out. So I was, I didn't play those, but I was at least getting some ideas from him. Um, but that's pretty much all that I've been playing. Let's turn it over to the news. Well, things have happened in the last week or so since I've been gone. No, Let's kick it off nothing with has happened. Star Wars Squadrons. What do you think? I am so excited because mm. I love Star Wars dogfighting. And this looks like they're doing it right because they, they came out yesterday today and they said it's first person only. It's locked to first person. And that makes me really excited. Um, This feels like it's a good mix between Rogue Squadron and the original X-Wing games and incredible graphics on top of it like multiplayer action like did you ever play uh you played battlefield 1943 right 43 yes which was amazing yes and remember how they had like an air superiority mode where it was just like planes only mm, yeah. yeah so i think this is going to be a lot like that and that was a lot of fun where it was like the planes controlled good enough they weren't too arcadey they weren't too realistic and you were just having dog fights this is like Crimson Skies. This is a very underrepresented genre in video gaming right now. And I'm so happy they're bringing it back. Day one buy for me. Uh, did they say it was $40? I'm going to look that up. 40, uh, 1943 was so good. It I was played that game. Good... I, I, yeah. I don't often like say I'm good at games. But that was one of the games I played enough to get good at. Yes. I... I played it, but I didn't play a whole lot, and I actually had a grudge against it, and it's because it was a fantastic game, but it was on consoles only. And I was, I've was i been a diehard Battlefield fan. Sorry, I was a diehard Battlefield fan since 1942 came out. So for them to put out 43 on the PC and for it to be a great game, I'm on the console only and for it to be a great game, felt like a slap in the face. And I was upset about it. I still played it, but I was upset. I was like, when is it coming to PC? And they actually announced it for PC, and then they canceled it. So, kind of upsetting. Yeah. You know that game, awesome. you can still play it today. 1943? Yeah. That's, That's not cool. a bad stream idea. Uh, stream Mom says, not entirely sure if he will personally like the gameplay of Squadrons, but uh, it looks like a quality game. Yeah, it looks real good. It looks really good. Yeah. Um, they're also going to do uh, fleet battles where you, you have your NPC or AI teammates... So they're going to kind of expand the battle beyond just the players there. And I think they talked about how each of you is going to have a squadron. So like I'll spawn in the game and I'll have three AI teammates that I'm commanding. That's what it sounded like that against, you know, like, so there'll be like three human teammates. Each of them have a squad. So there'll be 16 of us. Four of us are human. It's, it's a lot of fun. No microtransactions. All the level ups are going to be purely through gameplay. Uh, and it will have VR support on PS4 and PC. I'm probably going to give that at least a whirl, but it's just mm. nice to mention it. Uh, you um, might have just mentioned this, but I was paying attention to this riveting battle going on here. Um, the the NPCs, that there's NPC ships with you, like kind of like the grunts in uh, Titanfall? Yes. Okay. Yes, and it sounds like you will be able to command them. Like gotcha. you'll spawn in with a squadron. Um, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, and I did look it up. It is $40. That's the perfect price point for it. October 2nd, all current generation platforms. Not yet announced for PS5 or Xbox One, but it should work on, I mean, Xbox Series X, but it should work on Xbox Series X, right? Don't they make the guarantee that all Xbox One games work on Series X? They just may not be optimized for it. I believe that's the uh, Yes, I think so. <gasps> oh, I got the Blackboard Eraser. PS5 has not made that promise yet. They say you can play... Some PS4 games on PS4. And it's up and so far it's been developers who have said you can upgrade or yeah. blah, blah, blah blah Yeah. Um let's talk about Crash Bandicoot 4. Uh, uh stream mine we'll was up. stuck on that for a while too. So you might just want to leave it when I first installed oh. this game. 
Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. How are you feeling about this one? Um, I don't know. I I have the Insane Trilogy, and I've played one. Uh, I have played it enough to almost have shattered my Elite Controller. Um, and oh, that's about as much as I played it because, so I don't I don't throw controllers. I wrench controllers, and there was a, me- a very loud clack I did during one of those levels, and I don't think I've been back since. Um, I really like the way it looks, and I like that game. But when you die at the same spot about one hundred and fifty thousand times, yeah, you get upset. So this one, um, first original entry in the Crash franchise in over a decade. And it's a direct sequel to the original trilogy. Um, It looks like it's got some really good graphics. And it's also coming out on October 2nd, the same day as Star Wars Squadrons for $60. Um, So Stream Mom, I'm curious to hear if you're excited about it. Sounds like you may be excited about it. I think this was something that we all kind of knew was coming and then the leaks were coming out that confirmed it in a way. Mm-hmm. And then they actually, they, they confirmed it before they even did the reveal. They were just like, hey, by the way, tomorrow you should watch this video about Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. <laughs> and I want to say, week. even before the leaks, there were those puzzles that they had sent. Yes. That is a PS4 and Xbox One game. Um, and it's, uh, I believe they later came out and said, Actually, no, I'm not going to say that because I'd have to look it up. But uh, that's exciting. Just some exciting news, some like E3 time period news. Other news as well. ARMS uh, is getting a fighter in Smash. Will, do you care? No. Neither do I. Next game. This came out, uh, I believe, last Monday or Tuesday. Uh, we can I? I'll, let me just clarify. I love Smash, playing Smash Brothers and doing Smash Brothers stuff, but I don't care about new characters. Yes, you also think you're good at Smash, which is funny. Um, you're the worst. There's a game that came out last Monday, Tuesday. We were originally planning to play it on stream, but then I went on vacation. Hard Space Ship Breaker. Uh, Will, how would you elevator pitch this game? You are Captain Hard Space Ship Breaker on a mission to Earth. And what is your only friend? Uh, Lemon. I I don't actually know. You don't actually know what this game is at all? Uh, I saw a picture of it, and I think you're a guy in space, and you break ships? Hardly? Yes, actually, yeah. Like, you basically, you work in a scrapyard. They have a spaceship. And uh, reading the reviews and the explanations and watching the videos, there's, like, three different things you could do. Like, there's a recycle bin, there's a cell bin, and there's a trash bin. And you have to dismantle the spaceship and put the parts in the right space. But the whole thing is in zero G. The spaceships have fuel lines. They have pressurized air lines. They have vacuums. They have nuclear reactors in them. So you have to be careful how you cut into the ship and slice it up. Because, you know, if you cut into like a highly pressurized line, it's going to blow and kill you and, and like destroy the ship. Um, or, you know, ruin that reactor that you wanted to make money off of. And now it's just junk. So you're basically like tactically taking apart the ship space like piece by piece and you're you're having to cut into it and cut pieces off of it. Looks like a fantastic UI. The reviews are basically saying it's a very typical early access game in that the the difficulty curve is a little wonky and that it doesn't feel like it has quite enough content, but it's a great base. So I may wait a little bit to to get it, but I just wanted to call that out. It feels like it's a fantastic indie game that was announced about a month or two ago. They announced it. Got a lot of hype. Came out in early access. Looks like it could be great. I just wanted to call it out. Looks like, it, you know, that could be a nice podcast game. Just kind of taking ships apart. You have, like, tethers. So, like, in order to, like, move a heavy panel, you have to, like, you can't just move it yourself. You have to, like, tether it to an object and then, like, carefully, like, tether grapple it into the correct trash bin. It looks pretty cool. Um, I don't have any jelly bean. Last bit of news. Excuse me. Kyle got a tonsillectomy. Kyle, if you're out there, let me know and I'll tell you my tonsillectomy story. Well, it's not my tonsillectomy story. It's a tonsillectomy story that I know. If you're out there, I'll tell it to you. If not, it's just going to be a tease for another time. Tease! Any other bits of, any other bits of news oh. worth mentioning? 
I'm trying to think. Um, I can't really think of anything. Um, I'm working on my Dwarf Fortress video. I've had a little bit of a hiccup, so I'm almost done with that. And same with the behind the scenes stuff. Um, I'm keeping it vague. Um, but I know people are looking forward to another Dwarf Fortress video. But I have a video that I have to finish writing the script for. Because it's... Mm -hmm. I, I feel like it snuck up on me. And I was planning on doing stuff this week. And then my job... We had to switch days around. So I'm actually... I have to work tomorrow instead of when I was going to plan all this stuff. But I think Thursday and Friday are when I have to... Uh, do some work for the people of Subpixel. Um, yeah. Trying to see if I left any notes for myself. The only note I had written down was to tell Stream Mom about the opening thing. Um, that's about it. Not much else. I need. I, I like. I need to play more video games. You know. Um. Are you trying to wind down the stream? Is that what's happening? No, I'm kind of, I just, I, first of all, I don't know how to get my gags back because I don't remember from the tutorial. Second of all, this game's not very good. Third of all. Yeah, I can play that. Um, <laughs> is this, is this still, I'll, I'll change that right now. Apparently this is still marched as, marked as a mature stream from when I streamed Pavlov. Oh, really? In Twitch. How, where did you mark? Where? Where's that setting you, so I know? You have to like... Let me see if I can find it. Just uh, let me know it. afterwards. Because I had to change it in Mixer after you left. Uh, but which, that's easy. Yeah, that's, that's easy. I didn't Mixer realize. Died. Yeah, I, we, we should probably mention that. Um, which, did you see the horrible... Someone was tweeting. Uh, th this isn't ho the them doing this isn't tweeting, but the photos are horrible of streamers learning about it while they're streaming and they're like crying yeah. because that's how they make their money. <laughs> and I was like, this is awful. I don't want. I don't want to see this. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Um. You, what jelly bean? I, stream mom, what are your jelly beans? Um. Yeah. I also realized we haven't, I at least I haven't been adding tags to our Twitch before we go live. Um, oh, I, I think I have. And then. Mi Mixer I was. And then the YouTube streams, you can add tags to those. And I never realized it because it's only in the video tab of it, not in the well, manager tab of it. No, it's it's in the when you create the event, it's in there, but you have to hit like the more at the bottom. Really, I don't I don't think they were there. I thought yeah. I checked. And then uh, finally, uh, yeah, Mixer's going away. They're partnering with changing all their stuff over to Facebook Gaming. I'm, uh, I don't, I don't know if we're well, going no, to go so over to Facebook here, Gaming. It's not that they're converting to Facebook Game. Well, it's. Something that they're changing into Facebook gaming is just that they made some partnership with Facebook where they basically said, hey, instead of us ending, we're going to recommend all of our users go over to Facebook gaming. So they're not explicitly converting. They're just saying, we're going to make it easy for right, you right, to right. Go over here. But they're shutting down Mixer, and that's what they're saying to do. Yeah, it's like it's like four weeks away. I think it's like July twenty second yeah. or something. So, uh, which is weird because I feel like between Twitch and Mixer, we always had much more traction and a much friendlier audience on Mixer. Yeah. So we'll we won't be streaming on Mixer anymore. Obviously, I, I don't know if we'll be doing Facebook gaming. I, no, I probably not. Yeah, I believe right now Facebook gaming. The last I checked is locked at seven twenty p. Yeah, which is no also way. I don't like Facebook. Uh, and I don't want like anything it. really to do with them, so. Uh, well, folks, uh, you know, I'm going to stop playing Toontown Online. It's not good. I bet it was good when it came out. It's not good anymore. EVE Online's good now. Um, this has been another episode of Server Quest. Uh, I think we're doing another one next week. I don't really know. I like Server Quest, but I, I think i got to change up the show a little bit where I, I liked with the eve one i played a bunch of eve and then did the episode and i yeah i honestly think that helped so i might 
going forward just start playing the games a bunch and then then we'll jump into them um yeah not much else to announce uh thursday uh, i don't know if we're confirmed that's what we're doing thursday um i know you're hosting thursday so we can basically think, do whatever you entire, want to. i think the entire stream schedule is up in the air right yeah because but I, I do have a recommendation and i'm gonna say it on air you're gonna say it on air Astroneer has dedicated servers now, and I realized it's a Game Pass game that Please. could go away at any moment. So Please. we should probably... They also just put out an automation update today. Or yesterday. So I think we do it. I think we start an Astroneer server on Thursday. I think so too. Um, hey, Zach, I know you're watching right now. If you're interested in Astroneer, I think the new egg deal's still up. You can get three months of... Uh, Game Pass Ultimate for like twenty one bucks, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. which it's, I bought yeah. a bunch of say, those. I was about to say it's Xbox Games Pass, but I forget if it's Ultimate. It also gives yeah. you PC Game Pass. I um, I think I have Ultimate Game Pass until October twenty twenty one, because every time those deals come up, I buy two or three, and then just you can do up to three years stacked. Um. Yeah, let me know, Zach, because you might also be able to just get the PC Game Pass. Forget how it works. Uh, anyways, folks, uh, so Thursday, we're not quite sure what we're doing. Possibly Astroneer. Uh, tomorrow, I will not be streaming because I am working. So count your blessings. And Friday, I also will not be streaming. Saturday, we don't know what we're doing. I might have to duck out of Saturday, but I'm not currently sure. Um, so it could be just an Ian only, or it'll be ian and i for a we'll bit figure it out. yeah we'll figure it out because yeah the air table is uh suspiciously blank until then folks uh i've been your host will crosby you can find me on twitter at hunt 270 that across from me that thing is ian gibson ian where can people find you on the internet you can find me on twitter at think gibson at think gibson you can find him there you can find all of our stuff at subpixelfilms.com that'll just send you to our youtube channel where you can smash that like button um Will. and we're on all Will. the uh all the handles at subpixel team what ian i forgot to tell you about my new song oh i didn't sing i have a cookies and cream song you sing your song, then I'll sing my song. I, it doesn't quite go, but cookies and cream and you're in between. I can't quite get you out my spleen, but I don't want you to run away today. That's pretty good. All right. <laughs> mine goes, uh, mine goes, my neck, my back. From my coochie to my cracker like an Alabama, Nashville, Tennessee. You are sweeter. Don't you know you're sweeter than a green bean? <laughs> <laughs> I love both of ours were Southern. <laughs> I stuck in my head for like five. The other one I had was, um, oh, so my sister in her house, she has a real stupid white person sign in her bathroom above the towel. And it says, Distance makes no difference when it comes to friends. What? And as soon as I saw it, I thought, distance makes no difference when it comes to friends. Because it's streaming on HBO Max 24-7. <laughs> <That's... laughs> oh, I'm going to get on this Toontown so trolley and go we're home. So <laughs> Cookies and cream, we're in between. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Stream on, go find your name in the server quest beginning. It's pretty good. Um, until then, I hope all of you have a good time. A good, good time. I've, you know, I've been fading to black the streams lately, but I don't have a button that fades to black and mutes at the same time. So, up uh, deck, baby. I know, up I gotta deck. do it. Uh, until then, folks, I will miss you. So, I'm gonna wave here. Bye. Bye.